All right, so today we're going to show how an Arduino can be used to read a pulse width modulated signal from a servo tester, RC uh, receiver, or possibly a flight controller, <clears throat> and then have the Arduino do something with that signal once, uh, once it has it. For this demonstration, I'm just going to show that the Arduino is reading the, the signal from the servo tester. The servo is just to show that... Uh, the tester is outputting a signal and uh, the BEC is to power everything up. So we'll set the servo tester to sweep and you'll see that once the pulse width is greater than 150 on here, but it's, a, it's 1500 microseconds, the light on the Arduino will light. It's running a small sketch that basically just reads the duration of the pulse and uh, decides to whether or not to turn the light on or not. Um, we'll take this over to the computer and then we can show uh, what the actual signal is as it's running. Okay, now we have it set up running on the computer. Um, I did remove the 5 volt power line from the Arduino to the servo tester because the Arduino is going to get the power from the USB port and I didn't want the two conflicting. Um, so for now it is connected to the USB port, the serial monitor is running. Uh, you can see that the, the pulse width is about 1018, 1020 in that neighborhood. And as you change the setting on the servo tester, it's reading the individual pulse widths. We'll just set this to sweep and it'll, it'll read through all the sweeps. I'll we'll set it back to center. And it, it does look like it, it has a little bit of jitter to it. It doesn't really hold on one particular pulse uh, width. I'm not sure if that's a, a factor due to the Arduino or to the, uh, the servo tester. <clears throat> I'll have to do some more uh, testing to find out which one is causing the issue. So for now, what to do with this? Uh, it's basically up to you. 